Hey, I'm Josh. This is Will. We're back in the BRS TV studios. And the last time you saw us, we were tearing down our 3XL 900 and we were moving everything into these two new tanks behind us. What are we doing today, Will? That's right. Right now, we kind of just left them on the sand. So we're going to go ahead and mount them today. Uh, we got a few things to keep in mind. The par is number one, and then we got flow too. So let's get into that par. Let's go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be getting some PAR numbers. We're gonna be using this PAR meter to do it. That way we know exactly where our corals are gonna be happiest. And the best way to do that is by creating a PAR map. This tank here is a low light LPS tank. And because of that, we're gonna be aiming for around 50 to 100 in most of the tank. And this is our high light LPS tank. On this tank, we're gonna be going for a PAR of about 80 to 180. All right, so the next thing we are gonna do is we are gonna mount the coral to our aquascape. To do that, we're gonna use some extra thick super glue gel, We've got some fragging tools, and we also have some fast curing epoxy. Well, how are we gonna do this? Well, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is grab your coral. Sometimes they're just perfectly shaped and you don't really even need any glue. This one's gonna fit right into that hole there. All right, so I'm gonna use the epoxy sandwich method on this coral here. You're gonna go ahead and grab your super glue, apply a large amount of super glue there, and then take your epoxy, mix it right up, and then you're gonna apply it to that and put the super glue on top of that. Cover that whole piece of super glue, add some more super glue onto it, and shove it right into the rock where we want it to go. You're gonna to wanna to hold the coral until that epoxy hardens so it doesn't fall. And sometimes you can get away with just using super glue on the frag plug to mount. All right, so using those three techniques, we'll get the rest of these corals mounted. Josh, hand me some super glue. There you go, bud. So we have this giant encrusting LPS here, and it's just so big, it doesn't really fit anywhere in the tank. I'm gonna go ahead and frag it up, and we'll give away most of it. All right, so we got the coral in the max spec lagoon mounted up and ready to go. Let's move on to the aqua forest. All right, so as you can see, this coral here is our clownfish's favorite coral. So we're gonna put it front and center, right up on top. Oh, look at him go. I'm gonna have some problems with this clownfish. So as you can see, there's a ton of flow going on, too much flow for this tank. This is a low light, low flow system. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way and I'll go ahead and turn it down too. All right, so our max spec lagoon is a little bit bigger of a tank. We've got bigger pumps. We wanna know exactly where every bit of flow is going. We're gonna do that with some RO tubing. Here's how. All right, so that's that. We've got our lights adjusted, we've got our coral mounted, and we've got our flow adjusted. What's next, Will? That's right. So over the next few weeks, we're gonna keep that flow and that light in mind. You may need to move that flow around as those corals grow out or open up, and same thing with the lighting. Some corals may not take to where they are perfectly the first time, so go ahead and move them. Thanks for coming along with us, and hopefully we'll have some update videos coming out soon.